Ben here from Tayside in Pictures. I just thought I would do another shorter video this time um, to show the process of the aerial photography with the traffic trails. I'm going to show you the process of actually shooting, uh, editing by stacking the images and then painting in the traffic trails. Like I say, this video hopefully won't be quite as long. I'll try and keep it nice and simple. You need to get your drone into position, get the shot framed up, have it exactly how you want it. As you can see here, I've got it in timed shooting mode. You hit shoot and it takes an image every five seconds. Now what I do is I start a timer on my phone, usually for about 100 seconds. It means I'll get about 20 to 22 images. Once it's finished, just hit the shooting button again. That stops it taking photos. And that's your done. You move on to your next frame and you carry on. That's it. Next, we'll move on to editing on the computer. So here we are at um, the editing phase. <clears throat> I've taken 23 images of this with the traffic running around. It's time to put them together. So basically I'll highlight all 23 of my images that I've taken here and I will right click on them and go to edit in and then open as layers in Photoshop. This will stack them in one file as layers. Okay, so now I've got my 23 different frames all in one image layered with 23 different layers fairly simple from here on so you start off by going to select up the top here all layers that's, and that's what we'll do then you go edit auto align layers and just do it automatically that'll take a minute or two okay so you can now see that it has aligned uh, all of the images taking into consideration the movement of the drone so basically they're all stacked on top of each other and every single image is at the exact same angle so the uh, next step here is to go to layer smart objects and convert to smart object then next you would go layer smart objects stack mode and lots of different stack modes here I don't really know what most of them mean but the one we need is median Okay, so this is your final stacked image. Is it, well, not the final, but it's a median stacked image. Um, as you can see, all the traffic's gone, but the detail is beautiful when you zoom in, and there's basically no noise. So from here, you are just going to hit Control and S, which will save your file as a TIFF file, and then you can go ahead and close this once it's saved. So going back into Lightroom, you will see you've got a TIFF file here, which is the file you've just created. Um, which is the stacked image so what we need to do now is you need to highlight all of your images again but do not highlight the one that you've just created and you want to reopen them again in Photoshop as layers this is to create the traffic trails okay so here we are back again um, all the files are loaded into layers um, for the traffic again we need to start off by um, selecting them all and aligning them all again so that they're in the same position as the original fold, uh, image okay so give that a second and that will align so now they are um, aligned perfectly the same as the last one now what we do over here is we go to the blending mode where it says normal here and we change that to lighten which as you'll see will bring all of the lights through um, what I do then is I right click on one of the layers and I go flatten image which will bring it right make them all into one image flatten them right down once they're flattened what I personally will do is I will go to image adjustments and then levels which will bring up this bar on the right here um, and it will mean you can actually make global adjustments right across um, so what I like to do is I quite like to make it to bring the middle slider to the right to make the darks darker and then go over to the right hand side to the uh, the bar on the right and drag it into the middle which brightens some of the lights as you can see if I pull it all the way it gets silly but as you can bring it in just a touch and uh, that should brighten some of the lights up for you hit OK there and uh, once again control S to save that will save it as a TIFF file and now we're ready to bring the original layer back okay so bringing the original layer back you go back into Lightroom you find the original layer uh, the original one that you made which was 
the stack, uh, the TIFF file here. You right click on that, editing, editing Adobe Photoshop, and you want to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments. So then that'll take us back to Photoshop and it'll open it as a completely separate file. Now there, I will go select all, edit, copy, go over to the, the file which has got the traffic on it and edit paste. That'll overlay the original layer into, into the, the new layer. And um, now we're ready to start painting our traffic back in. So there are different ways you can do this. Um, you can use an adjustment layer mask. The, the easiest way I find to do it is to find the eraser tool, which is just on the left hand side here. Left click on that, find yourself um, a half decent size brush, 200 is quite good. I always do hardness zero, that way it's got a nice soft edge. And literally just paint, just uh, click and drag where the traffic is in the original image. If you want to go and check, if you come over to the right here and you click on a little eyeball, it takes the top layer off and just shows you where everything is underneath click it again and it'll take you back to the top layer so if you just paint that in I'll just do that just now um, I tend to stick to the roads first just to make sure I've got all the actual traffic and then I'll have a look at uh, the rest of the image like these roads here just in case there's any other traffic moving about so basically that's nice and easy paint that in again check here now and then see what you're missing I'm missing a little bit of white in here a couple along here all quite a bit around here so just make sure you get all, all the traffic you can this road here had a couple of cars on it turning uh, perhaps one down there as well on this little back bit I think that's just about it you can actually see if I take, turn this off you can actually see somebody must be wearing a high-vis jacket let's walk through the frame it's quite interesting um anyway so that's painting the traffic back in next step for me would be to flatten this image again just to make sure that it's just one one image merged together so again right click on the layer over here and hit flatten image and that'll make it one image now the next thing i personally would do is i would hit a filter up here and go to the camera raw filter uh, which will open up a whole new dialog box here um which is a bit like the Lightroom thing, but I quite like having the options in here as well. Now, I personally, I would try and play with some of some of these sliders up here. I'd maybe pull the white balance up a bit, the vibrance and the saturation up a tiny bit. You can play with the whites and the blacks. Um, I mean, you, you, you can see what they do as, as you play with them. Highlights would bring a lot of the lights down, so I tend to keep the highlights down, uh, essentially. The shadows it depends on how dark your image is right in the center of the image here this is a very very dark roof I don't want to keep too much of that lit so that it starts getting noisy again so try to keep that in the middle clarity is a big a big change it sharpens everything right across the image and brightens things up um, maybe lift that a little bit and then dehaze a touch as well which will actually deepen the contrast um, I would maybe touch the exposure up a tiny bit as you can see it globally lifts all the exposure across the image but maybe lift it just a tiny bit another thing you can do is you can actually go into um, your different colors and change the saturations on the individual colors like the red so you can you can pull the reds right up as you can see around here the reds go very 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 red or you can pull them right down and they go just to orangey color or maybe lift that a bit yellows up down mm, I'm not a massive fan of yellows in my images um, quite like that I'll leave it at that okay so you hit okay that trans uh, that transfers onto the actual image um, control and s will save that as a tiff and once that's done you can head back to Lightroom and deal with that how you will so if you had if I head back to Lightroom here this is my new image here this is my final image um, fairly happy with it Again, you can do some development adjustments in here if you really want to. Um, if you're used to using Lightroom, obviously you can go straight to here after your stacking and your painting through the traffic instead of going and doing adjust a uh, raw camera raw adjustment layer on uh, on Photoshop. That's literally it. Um, I hope this video has been fairly informative. I know it's a horrible droney voice that I've got, but. 
you know you get the information you need hopefully you can come up to cracking images i can't wait to see them thanks very much